Marta and this is Ricardo. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, reproducibility and user control software management in HPC environment with geeks. I know the pronunciation is not obvious. Uh, on cluster environments, there's two kinds of people. There's sysadmins and then there's users. They're very different people. Sysadmins, they want to have mature software. They don't, don't ever want to change the software. Users want to change software all the time. I'm actually both, I'm a sysadmin and a user. So uh, anyway, so I've got the perspective to see that sysadmins use stable software for systems and they let users uh, try to manage their own software environments and usually this ends very badly. Uh, users, when they just compile things in the home directory, they do this in an ad hoc fashion. Uh, it's probably volatile as sysadmins finally upgrade certain libraries. Everything in the user environment breaks and it's pretty primitive. Uh, I hear you say, so what about easy build, conda, spec? Don't they solve the problem already? Sure, they make software installation really, really simple. Right? That's great. These, these tools are amazing. But uh, reproducibility is still out of reach. Uh, th this is a, a bug report for, for easy build, for example. This package builds fine on uh, scientific Linux 5, doesn't work on scientific Linux 6. Oops. Here's one for, for SPAC. Uh, this th problem only happens on some computers. So I don't know really why. Because, well, down there you see it actually uh, accidentally pulls in a couple of system libraries that may not be available elsewhere. Uh, and, and Conda itself also has a couple of uh, these kind of issues when you want to run a binary on a different system. What about Docker? Yeah, what about this little fella here? Uh, this solves everything, right? It's 100% reproducible. Uh, so we've got all the builds, uh, uh, sorry, all the bits, right? You've got the same bits as I have. Problem solved. It's uh, also 100% stateful, and we only have the bits. There's, uh, so I, I get it, app bundles, they're really convenient, right? You can install the same exact bits on a different machine, and it runs, but it lacks a principled or proper means of abstraction. Uh, you, you, you don't see the forest anymore, but there's so many trees, right? You look at the bits, no longer at packages. You don't really have the means of abstraction to deal with it. Docker is also famous for not composing well with other containers. We've got essentially giant statically linked binaries that are bigger than statically linked binaries. Uh, but, but I'm not gonna talk about Docker. I, I wanna talk about geeks. Uh, Geeks is a what's called a functional package manager, which means it models the package build as a pure mathematical function. Meaning, a function has inputs and it's got an output. It maps those inputs to outputs. Inputs in, in this model are uh, header files, sources, build tools, libraries, everything you need to get to that output. In this case, this function produces a particular variant of Emacs. And uh, on the right side, you see that this Emacs is prefixed with the hash of all of the inputs. So this is unique. And given the very same inputs, I will always have the very same outputs. If I change any of that, uh, that prefix is going to change because right, it's a hash of all of the inputs recursively. Uh, and this allows me to install different variants, uh, not only different versions, but different variants of the same version, if I, if I choose uh, to do that, on the same system with no conflict. I can then pick and choose and say, I want to have this variant of Emacs in my profile, not that other one. If you do this recursively for all packages, not only Emacs, but uh, GCC to build Emacs, and whatever else, Emacs has a browser, right? So WebKit. Uh, that WebKit that you use for, for, for the browser instead of Emacs, and, and the dependencies of that WebKit all the way down to bootstrap binaries. So you get something like this. Actually, it's going to look a lot worse than this. Uh, this is only for the core utils, right? So there's a the compiler for the compiler and the thing that you use to unpack the compiler. But Geeks gives you the power and the tools to manage this big blob of software. Um, you, you can look at all the dependencies also recursively. Okay, I use this particular variant of libc, this particular variant of foo, bar, and baz. Or you can say, uh, install me baz, but replace all of the foos with bars. 
or you can say, give me a the the package bass, but with with a different release, right? A different tarball. If you want to share this environment that you've created, you can just create a app bundle. I said they are convenient, right? So Geeks Pack, SAM tools, bed tools is going to give you a big tarball that contains SAM tools and bed tools and everything you need. If somebody doesn't have Geeks, apparently people like that exist, uh, they can just take the tarball, unpack it, and run the software as is. No need for any runtime things like Docker. And it works on, on any system, really. Right? It doesn't matter if it's Fedora, Ubuntu, CentOS, 5, 6, 7. Uh, but you can also create Docker images, of course. I mean, I'm not sure why you want that. You get all the, the good tools of, of Geeks, right? Everything is still that beautiful graph uh, with the extra overhead of Docker. But if the other person has Geeks, you, you can just say, um, here, I used this version of Geeks to build this, and this is the list of packages I used. So I have a manifest here. Geeks instantiate that for me. And that's symbolic sharing. You get that whole environment, and it's uh, almost always uh, reproducible, bit for bit reproducible. So this is the, the final five uh, pieces of propaganda I want to leave you with. The first one is, the level of abstraction really matters. Bits or packages? Uh, I would go for packages. Geeks enables reproducible and safe experimentation. Reproducibility is only the first step, right? You want to be able to change things in that environment and, and do this uh, not in an ad hoc fashion, but say, I just take that one piece and change that. Geeks make sharing environments really easy. Doesn't matter if the other person uses Geeks or not, better if they do. And there are ways to use Geeks without root access. So this, this is a thing that uh, people always say, mm, I, need to, I need to have root for Geeks. True, but also not. You can do it without root. And if, if you really like Conda, well, install it with Geeks. <laughs> we have a poster tomorrow. Uh, meet all the nice folks on, uh, on IRC. Or write us, write Piotr or me. Um, learn more about Geeks. It's, it's a nice project. Maybe we also have a blog for uh, after the session. Yes, that's true. So meet us afterwards.